Good morning, fellow survivors, and welcome to another day on the beautiful island. Uh, so I'm hoping that today's episode is going to be a really short one. I don't know why I'm saying hoping because I control that. Uh, but I really just want to go exploring and I want to start setting up my fence so that I don't have dinos wandering in here. Uh, but I just want to show you a couple of things I did while I was away. So I just went ahead and built it. Oh, sweetheart, another egg. I'm going to put it in the feeder to preserve it. I didn't want to get on you. I didn't want to get on you. I wanted to just get your egg. Can you move your cute self? There we go. I'll take your poop too. Uh, but yeah, so I just built this as a sort of stable, you know, as a sort of parking place. Um, I know it's not enclosed, but I didn't want it to be. I just wanted something that looked almost like a little tiki lounge for my dinos. And the reason it's only big enough for one is because I plan to only keep whatever like my main riding dino is in here. Uh, once I actually start building my base, the rest of the dinos are going to go in there. So sorry, Wise, but uh, Penny is the one that's got a roof over her head. You're in the doghouse. I didn't do anything with the pier. Like, I didn't update that. I, I still will just figure that out, but that's not an important thing going on. Uh, I started harvesting some of my veggies here. And the one thing I forgot... Oh, let me go ahead and put the HUD back on. All right, so when it says fruitling, it's ready. So this is the Savo root that I planted, um, or in my reality, a potato. Uh, so I'm gonna take some potatoes, and you know, as long as this is fertilized and watered and whatever, this thing that you planted is gonna continue to yield fruit. It's going to continue to yield a harvest. So I got that, my citronelle is also done. And as you can see, that looks like a lemon. So I'm gonna take some of that too. Um, just make sure you don't remove the seed that you put in there. So I'm gonna take that and the long grass looks like corn <laughs> like, I mean, you can see that from looking at this basically to me It's potatoes, lemons and corn, All right? So the object of today is to do a bit of exploring and also to get started on my fence And I decided that I want to put the fence um, Down here just because I don't want to look at it like when I come out of my house and walk around I want to just look around and see nature not a big old stupid fence Okay, so I dropped this foundation here for the fence uh, but we're going to see. I'm going to just start laying them down. And I'm going to snap to it. And we'll see how far we get. So I'll meet you back here when I'm a little farther along. Okay, so that actually didn't take long at all. Now, you may be wondering, lady, if you fence all of this off, how, pray tell, are you and your dino gonna get through? Well, that's why I went ahead and crafted a dino gate. Um, so I crafted a wooden one because that's kind of the level that I'm at. So I'm gonna snap it to that fence line there. Oh, that's gonna be perfect for Penny. All right, so I worked on the fence all night and it is now a new day, but I will show you my glorious fence in a moment, I just want to come over here and uh, upgrade Wise because I haven't done that in a while. And again, because I want Wise to be able to defend himself while he's out there, I'm going to do melee damage. Yes! <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, so let's go take a look at the fence. I mean, this isn't really the best lighting and weather for you to see it, but it is complete. Like, look at how gorgeous that is. I don't plan on luring any dinos over here to attack this in the first place. So again, this is mainly just to keep dinos like you, like you over there from wandering into my space. And again, I'm not gonna put the door on it uh, because I don't feel like it because I'm going to walk through there and go on a little adventure. That's gonna be the second part of this video. I'm just gonna go on foot in that direction and uh, see what we can see. Because if I call up the map, which you know, all these textures just take a while to pop in. There we go. If I call that up, you can see where I am. I'm because I'm at the southernmost tip of the map here. I'm just gonna go north because I haven't uncovered anything directly north of me. So we're just gonna walk as far as we can before we die. And because that's what I wanna do, I'm gonna drop any important things uh, in here. And I'm only gonna take what I need. Oh, let me, I keep forgetting I took the HUD off. Oh, I can level up, level up, level up, level up. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. 
Let me see what I can unlock now. I mean, I have a significant number of things that I can unlock if I want to. I'm just not because there's no point in this stage of the game. See, like, oh, refertilizer. Huh. I don't know what that is. That's interesting. I'll look that up. All right, but we're going to go on an adventure now. And like I said, I'm going to just go until I die. So I'm going to need food. Oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Let's start fishing. Please come back. There we go. And then again, like I said, I'm not going to take anything that's important because when I die, which I <laughs> completely intend to, I'm not going to lose anything important. So I'm going to go in here and get tons of fish meat. And I was being very lazy about it before. I wasn't using my Britney Spears uh, to catch them just because I didn't feel like it. But oh God, I broke that one. <laughs> I broke it, but it's good because, you know, once you actually kill them, it automatically picks them up and then you can just easily drag them to shore. There's no real reason to do that, but I like it. All right, so while it's raining and overcast, I'm going to go ahead and put the door in here and it's going to snap just like a regular door. Ew! I mean, it does blend in nicely. Ah, majestic! Then we go get the rest of my food that's cooking, run over there and get that supply drop because it's green and it might be something good. I mean, I get them all regardless because you never know what they have. And also, I'm very happy with my movement speed. I'm gonna, you know, continue to put points into it. This is how good my movement speed has gotten. Like from here, I can run all the way to that supply drop in one stamina bar. Now that's good. Oh, look at that, it's some wood stuff. I don't currently need it, but I'll put it away. Hey, burger and soda pop. How are you doing? How's it going in here? Oh, you guys crafting at the smithy? All right, I'm not gonna wait for the rest of that meat to finish cooking. It'll be here when I get back. I think I have more than enough because I have something like 50 or 60 now. So I'm gonna head on out. I've got my torch, I've got my Britney Spears, I've got my hatchet and my pickaxe. So I am ready to go and explore. All right, I'll see all of you guys. Just hold down the fort for me. Pennywise, please make sure that you protect the Dodo family. All right, I will be back soon. Don't wait up for me. If it gets dark, just make sure this gate's closed. Thanks and bye. And one of these episodes, I have to go ahead and tame one of the Pteranodons because I need to be able to fly. That'll make it easier for me to explore. But, you know, exploring up in the air is not quite the same as exploring on foot. I mean, I can cover more ground and, you know, not get attacked. But, you know, that's just not the way I want to do things right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and run through the stuttery, stuttery area. Oh, I'm tired. And we're just going to keep on heading north. We're just going to go straight north and not deviate. Okay, that's how we're going <laughs> to map this grid. We're going to act like we're cartographers. I don't need anything slowing me down. Da -da -da. And now this game does have different biomes. You will have seen in the intro to the series, which if you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch it. It's the very first video. Uh, but there are different biomes. There are, you know, like the little forest kind of areas like I live in. Then there's like a swamp area. There's like the uh, ice kind of frozen sort of area. So there are different biomes and there are different things in each biome that you can check out. This looks inconspicuous. Oh my god, I was like, you're not a parasaur, you're a different thing. An iguanodon? Are you bad? Oh god, I thought whatever that was was gonna attack me. Iguanodon, I don't know what that is. Oh god, I'm dehydrated. I forgot to bring a water sack. Let me just run back down here to the water. But that's the other thing I forgot. <laughs> and it's fine, it'll replenish if it's raining, but if it's not raining... And you get dehydrated, you'll pass out -y. Oh god, am I anywhere near- what is that? Oh, okay. I always get very nervous when I see dinos running, because I think it's something very bad. Oh, I'm only right here! I'm right across from my place. 
Well, you know what? Then I guess in that case, let me go and take care of that. And then we'll head on back to where I was. All right, so we're back over here and it's a little bit overcast now by the time I got back. I'll tell you, the weather changes real quick in this game. But when I went to go craft the uh, water jar, I saw that it requires crystal, which I do not have. Don't even know where I'd get that. I'm assuming a cave, because caves have crystals and things, right? Uh, so I just got one of my water skins, and now I have that on me. Uh, but let's continue. Let's continue the adventure. Continue north. Oh, again, whenever I see something running, there's something it's running away from. And I don't want to die this early in the exploration. So I should probably not run everywhere. You don't have to keep telling me I'm hot game. I'm well aware of that. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Don't say it cause I know I'm cute. Oh my God, look at how beautiful this place is. Um, I think I can slide down this, maybe. Whoop, 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 ow. All right, wasn't smart, but fine. Am I still going north? I keep turning somehow. So north is towards the blue tower. So let's just use that. And by the way, you can, if you take the map out, you can run with it. And then every time you stop, it will automatically put it up. But I don't want to do that. Nope, don't want to do what I was doing there either. Okay. I see something in the distance running again, running the, oh no. What is that? I don't know what that was. Oh, hey frog. How are you? What is your actual name? A beasel buffer. Whoa, God, my God. <laughs> okay, so I guess if I want to tame a frog, this is where I'll come. But I'd really like to know what that was. I think it was a, a gator. Yeah, I think it was a gator. But yeah, what are you called? A Beelzebub? A Beelzebub? Your demons? What are you? You stop hopping so I can look. Your butt crack? Mm -mm. Look at your butt. All right, I'm not going to go that way because I'm pretty sure there's a gate. Yeah, there's a gator slithering over there. And again, I don't want to die this soon. So I'm going to cross over this way, mayhap. Oh, I'm in the water. No, 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 no. All right, nope, you know what? I'm gonna go on land. I'm just gonna stay out in the open. I see you, I see you. But I have upped my movement speed enough. Ah, no! Nope. I'm gonna go over to this big thing. I don't know what you are, but you look passive. Oh God, please. You are, okay. What are you? A parath uh, paracerethium, a paracerethium? Well, I'll learn the words as I go. Uh, I'm just really nervous right now. I wanna see if I can get up on one of these rocks so I can just see what I'm working with. Oh God. Okay, so you see how that thing in the distance has glowy smoke on it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, that, oh my God. What, what is near me? What is, what is it? Ah, ah, no! ah, what is it? What is it, Capricious? What is it, Caprasuchus? I didn't get far at all. <laughs> But I'm marking that in my head, 70, 80. So I know now around about where to get frogs if I want one. Uh, I don't know why I'd want one. I don't know what that is, but those are dangerous things over there. So now we know those are dangerous things. And now we're back home safe and sound. <laughs> and it's nighttime. Okay, well, oh, not demolish. No, don't do that. Don't do that. But anyway, we are going to continue our adventures next time. We are going to keep going north until I unlock more of the map. 
At least we did discover what looks like a part of one of the new biomes. It looked a little bit like I was getting towards the swamp, but I don't remember where those things are. But I did get a lot done today. At least I got what I wanted to get done, which was this fence to just block off this area. So that'll be my goal for the next episode. And in general, that's my goal for this series is to explore the entire map if I can. So that's it for this episode. Again, I'm in the middle of the race to 1,000 where I'm trying to get 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to support my channel and help me with that and I will see you back here again soon on the spooky McSpooks Island for another episode of I can't pronounce dinosaur names <laughs>